Witcher 2, Assassins of Kings, Chapter 1, Dark Difficulty, etc, etc. This is the quest, The Scent of Incense and Little Shop of Dreams. You start this quest by going to the harbor area and speaking with the shady looking man hanging out underneath the docks, or at least the upper level, who whispers to you and says he has a job for you. I'll be straight. Find He'll tell you that you need to go speak to the local incense orders. dealer and get his formula because what do you want me to do? Actually I forget why he formula wants you to. In the hands of a certain shopkeeper. Can't go and see him yourself. He's about to say he it deals actually. In incense. One type is particularly popular. I think what he sells is harmful, yet I need the formula to prove it. The scoundrel knows that and is very cautious. Yet I Okay, he's just saying that it's harmful. Nothing super important now. Super important. That. Nah. Forget what I just said for the last couple seconds. Either way. I believe the shop is always there. I don't think the shop kind of spawns in when you start this quest. But, when you start this quest, it will spawn a mob outside of the shop that will kind of try and get you to do something else along the same lines. It's, um, instead they want, they want you to make him close down the shop instead. This is actually a, the mob here is actually the quest Little Shop of Dreams, not like a a choice to split off the quest into two different paths. I'll talk to the trader. But you can fail I'm pretty sure you can fail the scent of incense if you close down the shop before getting the formula. Welcome to my modest shop. But if you don't make him close down the shop, you can make him give you the formula. Anyways. A drug here. Never heard such nonsense. So I believe here, just like yeah, right here I'm Perhaps gonna finish up a like uh, little like shop of way. dreams, and then I'm gonna get onto the scent of incense. I know there's some. So I decided to use the axi sign to make him tell me what's going on with the incense that he makes, because apparently it has the same effect as the drug years. called Fistech, which scent. I think is their How version of cocaine. Have such an effect on people? Some crazy anyway, drug like that. I can't ban them from using it. You sound honest enough. <laughs> so yeah, he kind of says. Um, he just says he's not forcing any, anyone to buy it. They just keep showing up and buying it anyways. Welcome to my modest shop. I need one of your and incense formula. It's not actually causing real harm to people, I believe. Someone's offering a handsome price for that formula. They say it's I don't know. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't have any sort of real impact on the story. The reward for Little Shop of Dreams is actually only 20 orange, so don't bother closing down the shop. It's not worth anything. Agreed. Wait a second. And so yeah, by default, um, the shopkeep will give you a similar formula that is a little too different but um, for a little shop or the, for a descent of incense if you get the actual formula you will get the full reward if you get the fake formula you don't get any money actually I'm not sure how much you, you miss out on, I don't think it's a whole lot. But the main part of the quest still kind of happens. So after you give the formula real or fake Did you get to formula? Uh, this guy here, I, I don't think his name is even... I don't think his name is Grand. made available at the moment. The but if you don't give him the formula, I believe it it just ends the quest there, I'm so I suggest giving him the formula. formula. All right. But he we asks you to meet 
uh, at the outskirts of Lavenden, and then he'll take you to his laboratory where he'll make sure the formula is real. In our case, it isn't, so it really makes no difference whether it's real or fake. If it's real, you get a bit of money. If it's fake, you don't get any money. But the result is still kind of the same. Or at least I, I would have made the result the same. And a lovely tooltip about rain. It's actually kind of neat. The Quen sign does more damage to enemies if it's raining because it's kind of an electrical discharge. I think that's the only thing that rain actually does as opposed to just being a really nice looking weather effect. Ready? As I said, I'm cool. So you can kind of argue My with him well hidden, I want to keep it about the way. blindfolding part. So I just go along with it. If you can argue with him to not right. blindfold you and you still and you just have to go to his laboratory on your own. But the same thing will still happen. Grab hold of my arm. And that was not a fancy video effect. That's actually what happens. My workshop is very near. The uh, the weird fade out. Almost there. Now, Porky. So yeah. Knocked out. And now I'm kind of captured. But don't worry. There's. You can't really kill Geralt that easily. Or at least capture him that Sincere easily. Apologies again. I know you could slice me up like a juicy side of beef if you wanted to. I had to protect myself. I'll ask you to be patient while my men check. So. The rest of this quest is me breaking out of this little attempt of a jail cell and killing all the guards here, including the dude with the funny hat, being the person that gave me the quest. Somebody from Flotsam? No, Vizima. I need a moment. The results are ready. A fake, after all. You should not have tried to deceive me. I actually felt a bit guilty. So yeah, now there's there's no way the myth to convince him that the fake formula is real. He'll always know, but you find out that he was a fist tech dealer back in Vizima. If you didn't play The Witcher One, Vizima was the city that well, The Witcher One pretty much took place in. So you can break out of the jail cell by using the yard sign and actually hitting the. Like, actually hitting the boxes, keeping you in. And you get a pretty bad sword at this point. I don't... I've never been able to make it to my actual stuff before. Because right there I was checking to see if I can, if I had uh, bombs with me, but they take your entire inventory. Yeah. I think I, I, I come out of this with pretty low health. But fancy insta kill uh, animations. Sometimes the art sign is, is just good just for getting, like, just kind of knocking other enemies to the ground and. Kind of leaving another enemy open for attack because one dude's on the ground. Yeah, now we're down to the last bandit, and I'm kind of kind of having some fun here with using the igni sign. I don't use magic too much in these games, and I'm just kind of doing that for some fun. So now I've retrieved all my stuff. Actually equipping my real weapons. Thank God I didn't take my armor. I would not have survived that if I did not have that armor. Just kind of looting the place. Oh, 
Oh, cool. I found the, um, the recipe for the Tawny Owl potion. That potion will increase the regeneration rate for your vigor. Yeah, vigor. Uh, if you don't know what vigor is, it's the yellow bar that is used up when you block attacks and use magic. So if you always find that you're running out of magic and don't have more than two vigor, I suggest using Tawny Owl potions in combat. But I believe I've looted everything here, and now all you, like the quest is already over at this point. I'm just showing you how to get back to the village. So I'm going to stop here and I will see you in another video.